Virtual reality lets you travel to places you've never been and see things you've never seen and do things you've never done without ever leaving the room. So what if Valve would be the one that sets the standard for virtual reality in the near future? What if they are the ones that are going to shake up the VR industry's grounds? Well, all of that has been left unanswered until now, because recently a leak was showing that Valve is working on their own VR headset. And that's extremely exciting news. Loads of rumors started to pop up on Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, and even the Steam discussions talking about this potential HMD. Juicy details started to surface everywhere, basically. And uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to make this video to share the hype, to uh, discuss this uh, potential Steam VR uh, headset. So I hope you are going to uh, join me on this uh, epic adventure. And uh, yeah, now it's time to jump into the metaphors and start with the question, what do we know so far? Well, that's a good one. First of all, we have images. A bunch of photos got leaked on Reddit of the potential VR headset made by Valve. And oh my God, is it interesting. Now, the person who posted this has not confirmed its identity. We don't know if this user is or was an employee working at Valve. Maybe he was a guest who got a tour at Valve and sneaked into the forbidden test rooms within the office, or a smart marketeer who simply took these photos to get the hype train rolling. There are many rumors right now and none of them have officially been backed by Valve themselves. Of course, after this leak, many questions started to race from what specs it has, if it's real or not, uh, when it's going to launch, what games it's going to run and a lot more. Uh, let's say real or not, something has been unchained within the VR community and that's not going to stop until Valve responds. Now what we do know for a fact is that Valve is working on three VR games. What experiences those are going to be is a complete mystery. I am sure they have left a few easter eggs for us to discover within the metaphors, but we haven't been able to find them just yet. Something we also know is that Valve is not new to developing and manufacturing their own hardware. They were the ones that came up with the Steam Machine, the Steam VR controller, the Steam Link, the original Vive, and of course the Steam VR Knuckles. On the software side, Valve has an impressive lineup too of Steam, Steam OS, Steam Mobile, Steam VR, the Source Engine, of course, games such as Half Life, Dota, Left 4 Dead, Portal, Counter Strike, Team Fortress, Alien Swarm, and one of my favorite games of all time. The lab. So yeah, they have loads and loads of experience. Technically, if they really want to, they could go for the full package. This means uh, make the HMD, create the software and sell it all together. But are they really interested in doing that? Because in the past, we know that they worked together with HTC. Quick history lesson, Valve never launched the Vive VR headset themselves. No, they did it in collaboration with HTC. Back in those days, they teamed up, but maybe times have changed. Maybe with this new VR headset, they are ready to go solo. Anyway, rumors go that as of today, this Valve VR headset will have a 135 degrees field of view with a Vive Pro resolution. And by looking at the back, we can see it still has those famous Fresnel lenses, but bigger with space for a cable on the left and a nose piece below. When we hop over to the picture of the front, you can clearly see these headsets were in repair and that the parts have been put together by Valve. According to Valve News Network, based on the components on the board, it could be running an ANX7530, which is a display chip that could possibly run the headset up to 4K by 2K in 60 FPS. Strangely, that would not be enough, because if you want to meet the standard of VR, you need to at least get 90 FPS. Time will tell what this all means. So what else can we find? Well, since we can get a nice peek inside the headset, we can spot the grinds that will make sure you can adjust your IPD. And this will allow you to move the space between the lenses so they match your eyes. What we can also see is two front-facing cameras. You would think these are for uh, inside-out tracking, but I think that's unlikely since you can find a few tracking spots on the headset itself that indicate it will make use out of the classic base stations. The overall build quality of this prototype reminds me a lot of the current mixed reality headsets, but in the end, we don't know if this Valve HMD is only going to run with a PC or that it's also going to be standalone. 
Surprisingly enough, by looking at the leaked pictures, we can also find an empty rectangular gap at the front end. Honestly, I have no clue what purpose it serves. I can only guess. It could be for a leap motion, a device that tracks your hands, an LED panel, a battery that could power the headset wirelessly, or something completely different. The only thing we do know is that it's possibly USB powered, as also seen on the board. Personally, I think it would be awesome if this would all be modular in a way. When zooming in on the computer screen on the left, we can see that the photos are quite outdated. And that does make sense, because when companies develop a product, it's standard practice to have a lot of revisions before its final stage. And looking at the progression and timeline of the existing SteamVR Knuckles prototypes, we can almost be sure a lot has changed already. Honestly, it would be no surprise if all of this is real. I mean, Valve has been working on the Knuckles controllers for a few years now, and while they never stated with which HMD they would be officially bundled, it would be a logical step to combine them with a matching Valve branded headset. These controllers have been out in the wild for two years and most developers already had the opportunity to test them out. And I also noticed that recently a lot more studios have been receiving a pair of their own, so this could point towards a potential headset launch. I had the pleasure to try them myself too and I have to say that these knuckles are taking interaction in VR to the next level, so I can't wait for them to be a consumer product. Funny fact is that the material used on the SteamVR knuckles matches with the cushion in the photos that have recently been leaked. As you can see the exact same material is getting used on the strap of the headset and that simply can't be a coincidence. Other things I noticed is that it has on-air audio, no jack, and that the strap build is very similar to the deluxe audio one from HTC. So this could mean a lot of adjustments can be made while wearing it. There are also a bunch of stickers that can be seen in these photos, but you can barely read them, so sadly I can't tell you what they say. Last but not least, there are a few stories flying around the internet that are saying that it might be launching with a possible Half-Life VR game. This could be number three, but what I think is more likely is a VR experience based on Half-Life 1 or 2. But let's be honest, speculating together with the gaming community on this level has always been super fun. It would be a dream coming true though if this headset would launch with the Knuckles and Valve's famous IPs. It's going to shake up the VR industry for sure. And uh, actually, some of these games that Valve made have already proven themselves to be VR worthy. When I had an Oculus Rift DK1, I was playing a lot of Team Fortress 2. When my DK2 arrived, I jumped into Half-Life together with my friends. And with the HTC Vive, I love to hang out in the lab and part all stories. So the potential is definitely there. Yeah, I know folks, uh, exciting times. I, I am so curious about what impact this Valve VR headset will have on the industry. It will definitely, definitely be competition. And uh, that's good. I think that's a healthy move within the industry itself. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of this Valve VR headset. And don't forget to slam a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Um, I'm sure there is a lot more information out there that I could have been talking about, but I wanted to keep it um, nicely packed. So I hope you understand. Um, if there is more news coming, I might do uh, another video like this one with uh, uh, juicy facts that we uh, haven't heard yet. But uh, for now, I'm going to sign off. And as I always say, and I see you guys uh, next time. See you in the metaphors. Bye bye. See ya uh, later. Yes. As with most VR systems, Waldron's uses stereoscopic images projected onto tiny screens inside the viewer's helmet. A powerful computer then generates the graphics and sounds needed to convince the viewer he's in another world. The illusion is completed when motion sensors in Waldron's glove and helmet allow him to begin interacting with whatever he sees. In case you're wondering about the virtual price tag for one of these systems, right now they run from about $50,000 to $200,000.